Okay, so I'm in my sheep yards, and if you are squeamish, look away now. You've been warned. <laughs> I'm going to show you uh, a bit of a digestive system of a sheep. We've been killing sheep today for my freezer, and here we go. Here it is. Oh, yuck. What have we got here? This, we'll start at the top. <laughs> This long white tube is the windpipe or the trachea. It's actually quite um, firm. It's a bit, it's made of cartilage, so it's like the stuff in your ears. Um, so you can see it's quite big and it stays open. There's a good reason for that. Um, and I don't know if you can see the ridges on it. It's actually quite lumpy. It's got ridges going down it for extra strength. And that leads down to the lungs. So we'll look at the lungs in more detail. I'll take them off and I'll take them inside. It's got two lungs. This pink tube that's going along the trachea is the esophagus. So you can see there that's actually a lot thinner. It's not reinforced. It's, it's um, closed up at the moment. It's quite, it's just like a, it's just like a little soft tube really. And that will go down to the stomach. It's massive. <laughs> And um, I can feel it. Feels like it's got wet grass inside, and that doesn't surprise me. I guess that um, the sheep's been eating lots of grass. It's quite big. <laughs> and there's a couple of different pouches to it as well. Underneath the lungs, this is like in the top part. You can actually see here it's got a bit of fat on it to clean it up. We've got the heart there as well very close to the lungs so that the blood can pick up oxygen as it moves from the heart to the lungs and then around the body. And if we follow the esophagus down, goes into the stomach, this thing here is the pancreas, helps with digestion. And then this stuff from the stomach starts going into the small intestine here. Um, all of this is small intestine. There's different parts of it. You can see it's actually like quite different shapes and colours. Um, sheep are ruminants. Like they, they eat mainly grass. So they're going to have a different digestive system to us. They've got quite a lot of small intestine and different parts to it as well. But um, you can see that there's lots of it. It's all folded up and it's got lots of connective tissue holding it together in these big squiggles. So it's a small intestine because it's small in diameter and there is a lot of it. Uh, and then that small intestine, believe it or not, will go into the large intestine. And again with sheep they've got different, lots of different parts to it. But under all of this stuff here, this is actually going into the large intestine. Which is larger in diameter and you can actually feel, if it's gross you can feel that there's some firmer material in there so it's quite large and that's oh, your poop's going to come out so lovely stuff there that's the digestive system got the heart and the lungs and then we've also got some other organs we've got one large liver it's got a couple of lobes to it and it's Really obvious, it's quite big, really big, sits along next to the stomach. Um, and it's like a real consistent brown colour, it almost looks a bit like leather. Um, it's quite smooth. This little bubble here, if I turn this over, you see that's connected to the liver, that's the gallbladder. So that helps produce things that can help break down fats and stuff um, in, your, in your gut. And also has a couple other functions. Uh, and then you've got, hiding in here somewhere, I found them before, a kidney. There's one kidney, and there's a second kidney there. You can see that it's actually, there's all, all of this white stuff here around these kidneys is fat. You actually just pull it off, it's really gross, that's all just fat. So... I mean, the sheep wasn't a skinny sheep, but he wasn't a big fatty either. He was pretty normal size, so there's a lot of fat around organs there. Um, and those kidneys are connected 
to the bladder and um, help with your obviously with your excretion of um, liquid waste products. So I haven't found the bladder here. <laughs> Better not pop it. But um, yeah, we've got lots of things going on here. Uh, we'll cut off the heart and the lungs and we'll look at those separately. You'll notice that with the guts, the heart and the lungs are kind of sitting at the top. And there will actually be, inside the animal, there's the diaphragm. And that will actually kind of encapsulate all of that in one half of the body carcass in the, in the cavity. And then the, the actual guts are underneath that, so you don't actually get any sort of, there's a bit of a division there. So yeah, I don't know if I can turn it over and find the bladder and things like that for you, but um, it's pretty heavy. It's a lot of guts in a shape. <laughs> so yeah, there you go, it's a little bit of a show and tell of what I've been doing on lockdown, killing sheep.